Hello you guys! We just got back from the grocery store. It is hot outside and it's been a crazy morning. We typically try to do groceries on Friday but uh, we weren't able to because we went to Bible study so we had to do it today which is Saturday and I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I was telling Victor this morning that I actually miss talking to you. I've been doing you guys have seen like recipes and things like that and meal preps but that doesn't require a lot of like face to face and I really miss it so I hope that you guys missed me and my face too. <laughs> so let's get to showing you all the things that we got. We went to Sprouts first and then we went to Trader Joe's and Publix and later on we are going to Costco to get a few things because they have organic produce which is like my favorite thing ever. So yeah, let me start with the beans. I'm just taking everything out of the bags as we go before I put everything and store it away. But I got a can of some chili beans, salt free. This is, these are really nice because I can make these for our baby. These are really nice, no salt added or anything. And you're gonna hear a baby in the background because that's real life and this is more of a chatty vlog. But we got some chili beans, we got these. We also got these great northern beans. These are super cool. Again, buy one, get one, which is super nice. I love the BOGOs here in Florida. It's super cool, like saves us a lot of money. So we got some black lentils, same thing, salt free. And these are um, pretty cool. I've only had black lentils once before, so I'm really excited to add these to a salad. I got some pinto beans, some chickpeas, and some black beans. I have been trying to make my own beans and typically I do, I make like a giant batch, but these are really nice for when I wanna change it up for baby or throw a quick salad together. It is nice to have a little bit of these or at least a few on hand to have those e easily accessible. And yeah, and especially salt free for baby. Um, I also got three of my new favorite types of beans and easy meals for um, just to have in the pantry. You probably saw the video already where I shared like the Harissa lemon chickpeas from the company Heyday and Whole Foods has a ton of these but I only found three kinds at Sprouts. Um, so I definitely have to go to Whole Foods again to pick up some more to try all of their variety. But I love them. They're so tasty, full of flavor. So I was thinking for these, the enchilada ones, to add them to actual enchiladas and make some um, with these inside. So yeah, I'm really excited for those. The other one is this coconut curry. And this sounds amazing. So I'm excited to try these. Something else that was a buy one get one are these cold brews from uh, Chameleon. So we got six of these different flavors. Uh, we got three black coffees, one caramel coffee, and then one New Orleans style. We've never had any type of New York, New Orleans style coffee, so very excited to try it. We, Victor and I have both been loving cold brew and just adding some um, oat milk and, and like uh, creamers of some sort, and we really enjoy it. So we got some of those. And they also had the Simple Mills uh, cookies on sale. They had them buy one, get one. So I got the almond flour toasted pecan cookies and these are my favorite cookies of Simple Mills. They're so delicious and they're my favorite so I had to get them. And I haven't had their chocolate chip cookies so I got those as well. A little bunch of asparagus. We got some cilantro because they had organic cilantro there. And I want to make some matcha cookies with white chocolate chips. So I finally found some. They had them at Sprouts and so I'm going to make some of those. And they had a buy one get one on the cinnamon that we use, the Vietnamese kind. I read somewhere that Vietnamese cinnamon is way better for you than regular cinnamon. So I don't know how true that is but that's what the book said. So. I just get that one and since I said I want to make enchiladas I want to make my baby some enchiladas too and so I want her to try the green tomatillos so I got some at Sprouts and they had dollar mangoes so we got five huge huge mangoes 
They're ginormous. And at Trader Joe's, we got two packets of bell peppers. Victor has been eating bell peppers in his in, as part of his like meal plan. So yeah, we got some bell peppers and I love bell peppers too. And we have been loving these hot sauces. The only downside to the red hot sauce, the red sriracha, is that it's not spicy. So you have to add a lot of it in order to kind of get more of a kick to it than regular sriracha. So uh, the Publix near us didn't have a sriracha, so we had to get this one. It's good, it's just not spicy, and as Hispanics, as Mexican, we love spicy food. But we do enjoy this green dragon hot sauce. It's quickly become one of our favorites. We've gone through four bottles, I think, in the last month. So that says a lot, we really enjoy it. And I also wanted to make some fries this week and steam up some potatoes in my Instant Pot. So I got some organic uh, recipe potatoes from Trader Joe's. We've moved on from, um, from Sprouts. And I got some little baby Roma tomatoes. We also got a lot of tempeh. We love their tempeh and it's super inexpensive. It's like half the price of other stores. So we really love their tempeh. I love it, Victor loves it, and our baby loves it. So we have to get a lot. And Victor goes through so many of these during the week because again of his meal plan. We got some onion. And somebody suggested that I try this chile, chile lime um, seasoning with like cucumber, so I'm gonna give that a try. I also got the sriracha sprinkle blend. It sounds so good. So I was thinking of maybe adding this to tofu, and we shall see how that goes. And this is my favorite pasta sauce. It is, it's just, it's so flavorful, perfect on its own without anything added to it, but you can add um, like crumbles, meat crumbles, fake mock meat crumbles if you'd like, but I love it just as is. It's like my favorite pasta sauce. And for my fries, I cannot make potato fries without this seasoning. This is my favorite seasoning. It's the onion salt from Trader Joe's. Absolutely makes fries taste so bomb. And we wanted to try a purple Japanese sweet potato. So here we are. We're so excited to try this. I saw the documentary. If you have not seen it on Netflix, you have to go watch it. It's uh, Dan Butner's, and it's all a black... Is it Live 200? It's about the Blue Zones, but it's an awesome, phenomenal documentary, and I highly recommend you watch it, but they talked about purple sweet potatoes, and I have not tried them yet, I don't think, or maybe once, way back when I first went plant-based, so I'm definitely going to give this another try, and maybe this becomes my new favorite, because y'all know probably by now that I love the white sweet potato, um, but we also got these. Is this the same? I don't know if these are the same. As the purple sweet potatoes but Victor got this one I think these are white inside and then this one's purple but we'll see we'll see when we when it comes time to make them but we got those we got some kiwis because little Lini our baby loves kiwis we got some more sweet potatoes Victor eats so many sweet potatoes during the week we eat some but Victor Victor loves them so much which is funny because back in the day he didn't love sweet potatoes. And I got some um, butternut squash. I'm gonna make a pasta sauce. We got some more tempeh. We got like eight of these, I think. And we also got some grapes because Victor loves grapes. I love grapes. Grapes are great. <laughs> Two tofu. Typically we get a lot more, but we've been replacing it with tempeh or like kind of doing half and half. And I still have one in the fridge, so we got some tofu. My favorite type of tofu is the super firm tofu, the one that's packaged like this. I don't really like the one that's packaged in like an actual little full container. And Victor also got these at Publix. They had the Beyond Steak plant-based tips on um, steak tips, seared tips at uh, Publix. Buy one, get one. And Victor's been using them in his uh, meal plan, meal prep thing. So yeah, so he got a lot of these. You want to say hi? Hi! Yeah, they haven't seen you in a long time. Do you want to say hi? Hello! I feel awkward. Cut this out. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, and we got lots of bananas. Uh, we got more, huh? We got more than this? No, that's it. Oh, we're probably going to get more at Costco. But 
Yeah, we got bananas and Publix has the best. We moved on to Publix now. Yeah, bananas and Publix has great deals on their berries. They have buy one get ones for these and we always get them because I learned to love berries. I didn't used to like berries, Whoa. but yeah, Victor kind of pushed me to, to eat them every day. And then now a day isn't a day unless we have either strawberries, blackberries, or raspberries, or some type of berry. And our baby can eat them and down them so fast, and she gets cranky if we don't give her berries. And sometimes she even wants to eat chickpeas with berries. She wants to eat um, black beans and rice with a berry on top. Sounds weird, but she is like, she loves berries. So we got some blackberries. You didn't get raspberries? No, the new? Oh, okay. So they didn't have any, so we might have to go back midweek to get some more berries. But we also got some maseca because I'm going to make some tortillas and make some enchiladas. And I'm really excited. I haven't, I haven't made tortillas in a while. So that is it for now. We still have to go to Costco. We came home real quick to put everything away and have some lunch. And then, yeah, afterwards we will... Uh, I'll check back in with you and I'll show you what we get at Costco. But for now, that is it for the first three stops that we went to. It sucks sometimes that we don't have like a, uh, a one-stop shop that we could go and get everything all at once, but it's okay. We kind of, you know, we just roll with it and at the end, we end up eating really good and really delicious plant-based meals, so that's what matters. But I'll check back in with you later when we come back from Costco. So we got back from Costco a few hours ago. Such a bad timing. I gotta do it. Victor's making rice. We got back from Costco about two-ish hours ago, a little over two hours ago, and we put Lini to bed. And um, yeah, we just uh, took a break. I was editing, Victor was watching that documentary that I mentioned earlier. He has found it very informative and he's really enjoying it. So definitely go watch it. But I wanted to share the last bit of things that we got at Costco uh, really quickly because, yeah. <laughs> we got some oranges. The Car Car oranges are my absolute favorite. I think they're sweeter and I just, I'm really excited for Lini to try these. We got some sea salt as well because we've been trying to make the switch from like the regular salt to this salt. I don't know why again, like the benefits of it. Victor, Victor's been looking into it, so he, he made that decision. And we also have some pears. The Costco pears are my favorite. I've had pears from different places, but I don't know why the ones from Costco taste so much better. And they're, they're just so sweet and yeah, our baby loves them. We got some prunes as well. We got some soy sauce. Now we typically get the low sodium kind, but they did not have that at Costco, but they had this giant one, so I figure like just water it down. I don't know, maybe that'll work, hopefully it works. And we got some peaches, nectarines. Both Victor and I and Baby love nectarines and we love fruit, so we got those. Uh, what else? Oh, we also got some avocado oil spray. This is really nice just to add a little bit onto the pan so that it doesn't stick or anything. And something that I was super excited to find at Costco was this giant bag of rolled oats, organic rolled oats. We typically get the Quaker because it's in like a big bat, like batch, but obviously not organic. And we do prefer to buy organic just personally. Uh, you don't have to, but we we do decide to. Um, so mostly everything that we do buy is organic. But again, you don't have to. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I was really excited to find these at Costco. And that pretty much wraps up this week's grocery haul. I hope that you found this video helpful. It's definitely longer and more personal than like those um, quick, fast-paced uh, shorts and reels and whatnot. But I, there's something so special, I think, about just me interacting with you and just, you know, talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed these videos. And if you do, please let me know down in the comments because I want to know what kind of content you guys enjoy watching as well. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, yeah, bye.